The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URL Radio Brady and Stacy and the morning. Good morning, I'm Stacy Stern. Good morning, I'm Bob Brady. And in with us today, special guest, we have Paul Schaffner. What's up, Paul? <laughs> Not much, my man. How are you doing in Ohio? Hey. Uh, I'm doing very well. Uh, good, to, good to hear you again. Thank you very much. Chef asked me, he goes, is this going to be more like Face the Nation or like uh, oh John God. Stewart? I'm like, what do you think? He goes, that's why I came here. <laughs> it'd, be a, it'd be a little of both of anything. Probably yeah. a little more of John Stewart than, than uh, Face the Nation. I know that. Yeah, I, that's what I said. I said, we're probably closer to John Stewart or the Colbert Report. That's probably going to be. Yeah. Appreciate you guys having me on, though. Yeah. No problem. We, yeah. we, we thank you for taking time out. We just, uh, when we heard the news last week, I have to be honest, me and Stacey were just shocked. <laughs> we were. <laughs> you were? Why is that? Break it down, break it down for me. <laughs> I need to know this stuff. <laughs> you, you go ahead, Bob. You give him the rationale. Well, because we know you as Paul Schaffner, D coordinator for the You Mary Marauders. Yeah. We know you as fun guy, Paul Schaffner, has a few beers, has a good time. <laughs> we know you as family man, Paul Schaffner, yeah. but we never knew you as po- politician, Paul Schaffner. Yeah. So we were just kind of shocked. Oh, I've always had an interest in politics, history, growing up near Madison, Wisconsin. It was yeah. always in the forefront, and uh, I was li- when I was living out in Boston... Uh, or commuting back and forth, mm-hmm. I caught the bug. There was just such an energy. Really? There was uh, just such an energy yeah. out there about it, and there's certainly an energy here now, and uh, I think there's an opportunity, somebody with my uh, beliefs. So now, I, th- that's why I think I'm here. that is true. I think on the East Coast, people tend to be a little bit more excited about politics. So I, uh, maybe it's because they're actually closer to Washington. Like the closest thing we are to is like Billings. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they have. They have no recreation. <laughs> they, yeah, that's true. They don't hunt. They don't fish. Yeah. Most people can't afford to go to a Red Sox game. So. Oh yeah, Bob was just talking about that too. How he loved to take in a baseball game since he's in Ohio there and. De- yeah. Go on and try, but it's too expensive. Exactly. Exactly. So now, it, it, I think it wasn't so much the fact that you were going into politics; it's that you started so big. Well, you know what I mean? Like that's a big office to take on the uh, taking on old Pomeroy possibly there for a house race. Like most people start small, Schaffner, and I know you're a go big or go home kind of guy, but um, like they start city council, okay? <laughs> you know, school board, community organizer, <laughs> community <laughs> organizer. You know, helping out on a day of caring, something like that. You know. <laughs> 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 but you went really big. So, w- w- how did you decide on that one? Uh, it, it's open. You know, the nomina- <laughs> nomination's open, <laughs> and that's my interest. I have, uh, I enjoy competition. I enjoy organization, and yeah. uh, you know, I think my basic political DNA fits uh, the Repu- Republican Party's direction now. I don't know yeah. the previous eight years. Uh, I would actually consider them conservative. So. Yeah. Uh, that's why. I feel comfortable. I, I really do. So, and I can uh, speak from the heart on I- my issues. So, that's where I'm at. Did the, uh, Paul, did the Republican Party come to you or did you go to them? I went to them. I went to yeah. them. So, got to try, you know, you have to earn it. They're not just yeah. not going to give you something like this or just recruit somebody like me. And, you know, like I say, it's a long, it's a long time between now and March. And the sole intention yeah. now is to... Uh, uh, get the nomination number one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the big thing, right. and uh, you know, just getting out, meeting people, and doing what I can. So now, let me, let me ask you um, about a couple of tough questions. The one is healthcare reform. Right. You know that's going to be a big thing during the election. People are still going to be talking about that up until March. So, what's your stance on all this healthcare? Because you work in the insurance industry currently too, don't you? Yeah, I don't. I'm not invol- involved in like health, health insurance. insurance right. As a disclaimer, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think there are issues in healthcare that need to be solved. You know, I think there's tort reform. I think there's things mm-hmm. to be able to set up buying groups, things of that nature. But I think what the Democratic Party pushed for, uh, is pushing for, is just, uh, na- I don't know if it's naive, but uh, with two wars going on, the deficit, the banking crisis, I don't know how you can expect to put in such a program at this time in time in our history mm-hmm. and uh, get it through. 
I just don't. I don't think it's relevant. I think that th they need to clean up uh, the Middle East or our our two uh, wars in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. They need to uh, get the budget balanced, uh, and they need to assess the values of what <laughs> the f role of the federal government is. And yeah. they there's no direction right now, and there's n nobody pushing back against it. You know they, you know, real Pomeroy. I mean they 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 push for this. Uh, platform that was mm -hmm. the democratic platform yeah it was the democratic platform mm -hmm. at this point and the cap and trade the health care issues and that's that's they endorsed it yeah they endorsed it so they there needs to be some uh pushback on it and that's why i'm here well, I think the thing that is most confusing to people is we hear about all this health care reform but everyone that's backing this He's not really talked a lot about what it's supposed to do, how we're going to fund it, um, what kind of changes there will be. I think I'd say probably in a survey that was taken last week, only a third of Americans can name one thing that's going to happen with health care reform. And that's apparently everyone's going to be insured. <laughs> right. Like That's yeah. it. They don't know any details. They don't know anything about it. And there are concerns because um, we already have this crazy thing going bankrupt called Medicare and Medicaid. Yeah, and uh, spending a lot of time in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. you know, the health care there is, it took me six weeks to get in to see a primary care physician here. Oh, yeah. Three days. Right. You look at the state of North Dakota, how much we invest in creating primary care physicians. Mm -hmm. You know, we... You know we've made that investment. These other some of these other states that are really pushing for it: New York, Massachusetts, yeah. New Jersey, have not made those same value judgments as we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're creating significantly more lawyers than doctors. You know, in mm -hmm. you know, I think the better investment would be hey, let, invest in your state for affordable huh, medical education. Yeah, you know, so that's just one of my per perceptions of the the issue. A, a state responsibility issue, not a state rights issue, mm -hmm. a state responsibility issue. And I think uh, the people of North Dakota have done that well over the years with our higher education system, uh, things of that nature. And that's why we have a balanced budget yeah, or a surplus. Now, now, uh, what else are you concerned about? What else are you going to be focusing on as you try to get the nomination to run against Pomeroy? Well, I think number the big thing, which is you've seen lately, is... Uh, national security issue and I'm not talking I'm not an I don't pretend to be an expert in geopolitical whatever whatever that means but yeah. the fact of the matter is this this goes back to the end of the Cold War with George Bush senior uh, with when he cut this uh, CI defense when Bill Clinton bounced Les Aspen who recognized the threat of Al-Qaeda mm -hmm. in 1992 to uh, lead up to 9-11 and to lead up to the uh, you know the poor information getting into Iraq. We mm -hmm. need to look forward with our with our national security, not look back. And it's not a partisan thing. It's about my seven year old. It's about your children. It's about everybody's children. And that's why we got to move forward. That's that's my goal. Mm -hmm. Politics is about people, and I don't think what's happening there in Washington now is uh, beneficial to politics with the CIA. That's yeah, leave it to Shatner to be concerned about defense. <laughs> And that's not defense, defense. Do you but get that, that? But again, that's the, the, yeah. the do, do I have direct, ins, you know, direct mm -hmm. uh, the House of Representatives? You know, I have, you know, you have a voice and you have a, mm -hmm. you know, you can push the issue with that. So that's how I feel there. Well, good All luck right, to yeah. you. Good luck to you, my man. Good luck. Hey, thank you guys. Anything else? No problem. No, that's Through that was easy. We're done. I, think we're done with you. <laughs> I told you this Just wasn't going to be tough. Kick me to the curb. All right.